we're gonna answer three most frequently asked questions from buyers now that we have been social distancing for over 50 days during the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Canada and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn ways to be approved for mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, Start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification button so you won't miss anything. I am here today with Jordan Scarpino, Realtor with Oakland Realty. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, John. Looking forward to it. Um, Jordan works a lot with buyers and after talking to many buyers, similar questions have come up and I'd like for you to help us answer them. For sure. So one big question is, is it a good time to buy now or should we wait? You're gonna hear a lot of uh, varying answers when it comes to this uh, question, depending on who you ask or uh, what you're reading. But in all honesty, it comes down to your own personal situation. Were you already in the process of searching before all of this happened? Do you need to purchase? Is your job secure? Uh, were you financially impacted due to COVID-19? These are all questions you want to think about before jumping into the market. If you are actively searching or preparing to enter the market before the onset of COVID and your job is secure and finances have not taken a major hit, I would definitely continue to take advantage of the low interest rates and great opportunities that are out there in this market. What is really going for us right now is the super low interest rates, which is helping affordability. There's no better time to borrow and leverage money than right now. And what I'm personally seeing, I'm actually seeing a lot of first time home buyers jump into this market right now. And on the other side, a lot of my clients who do currently own a place are upgrading their townhome into a single family home because of the spread or the amount of dollars between the two isn't very big depending on the location. So one of the biggest things that we're seeing in the media is home prices are dropping like 20, 30%. Are we actually seeing that where people are selling their place with, in, with huge discounts and they're just forced to sell? This is a million dollar question right now, John. I'm, my phone is ringing a couple times a week for my clients saying, hey Jordan, where are the COVID-19 deals? And you know what, not yet. Most places on the market right now are selling pretty close to their asking price. Homes that present well, and are not priced right are selling pretty quickly and in certain circumstances multiple offers are happening right now because of the low supply in fact the average benchmark home price right now is up 2.2 percent from last month and 2.5 percent from april 2019. it's gone up not down no not at all john you know so sales are definitely down down 56 percent month over month but in fact i mean home prices are remaining stable so what are the changes that we're seeing in the home buying process during the COVID-19 crisis? Well, John, it's, it's completely different now. We're seeing a lot of changes when it comes to how we conduct our business. For starters, we aren't doing any open houses. We aren't showing properties in person nearly as much. Uh, we're doing things virtually. So we're doing virtual open houses. We're doing virtual showings. And when you are ready to see a place in person, you after you looked at all the photos, you looked at the virtual tour, floor plan, anything else to make sure that you do really like this place, you're required to wear a face mask. You can't touch anything. You have to wear gloves. And before you can even get into the property, John, you actually have to sign a waiver. Oh. Yeah. Uh, another thing that COVID has uh, really helped do right now is filter through a lot of the looky-loos that were in previous markets. The people that are in the market right now are serious, uh, they are ready to go, and they're pre-qualified. So before we end off, what is the best tip or advice you would give to a buyer right now? Well, John, I mean, first off, make sure you find yourself a good realtor. And I just happen to be available. Give this guy a call. <laughs> I mean, but all jokes aside, I think it's really important as a buyer in this market and honestly in any market uh, to make sure you have your pre-approval locked in, especially in a market with low inventory and homes selling a lot quicker in certain areas. And it really allows you to act quickly and come in with a strong offer, which may make a difference of you getting that home or not. I always like to tell my clients, you wouldn't go into a store uh, to shop not knowing how much is in your bank account or how much you can spend. So why would you, uh, you know, start searching for a home without knowing where you stand first? That is very true. Well, thank you again, Jordan, for joining us today. So how would someone be able to get in contact with you if they have more questions or they would like more information? Uh, well, I think I'm easily found online, jordanscarpino.com, uh, Jordan Scarpino on Facebook, uh, Instagram, even though Instagram is more family-based in real estate. But uh, I mean, just type in my name and I'll be found. And there you go. We just went over the top three most frequently asked questions from buyers. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. 
and make sure to click on the notification button so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Arise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.